Hello everyone, my name's Mstar and welcome to another Mstar game tutorial. I play on the PlayStation 4 European server for the purpose of this tutorial and at the time of this tutorial it is the ESO um, Jubilee event 2021. So if you're new to ESO and you're wondering how to do the Jubilee um, event like to get the tickets the best way I do it, I'm on my craft on the European server. So on the North American server, I got 18 characters. So I did 18 characters with all the loading screens and the lag. It was horrible, but I got it done today. But thank God on the European server, I've only got four characters. But this is my crafter. So where I like to do this is in uh, Rimen in uh, Northern Elsa. I'll just zoom right out of the map. Okay. The reason why I choose this area is everything's close by, like the bank is close, the, the stables is close. Here, let me bring up my map. So I've got my banker here, I've got the, the stables here, and then I've got all the stations there. So I'll do a, I'll do a full tutorial because um, people who are new or just come back to the game, I'm just going to show them how to get the motifs and all that real quick, real easy. Okay. So there's a quest associated with these equipment crafting writ. Um, boards okay and in previous tutorials if you subscribe to my channel I'll show you, I've shown people how to do that and I've literally shown three people today um, how to do this and they've asked me to do uh, a YouTube tutorial just to help out the um, ESO community on console okay so we're gonna start off with, so you're gonna need space in your journal so I'm gonna go through my journal and you want to make sure you got okay so you can have 25 um, quests you can do at a time okay so what i want to do i need i need to drop some of these quests real quick before i do all this so i'm going to abandon some of this okay these are these are all old quests okay all right we're good okay so i want to pick up the clothing blacksmithing woodworking Okay, now there wasn't one there for jewelry, so I'll just have a quick look. Oh no, I got jewelry. Okay, so this is what we need, team. I've got the alchemist writ, I've got the blacksmithing writ, I've got the clothing writ, I've got the enchanting writ, the jewelry crafting writ, and the provisioning writ, and the woodworker writ. With the jewelry crafting writ, you're gonna need Somerset, or if you purchase the um, Skyrim uh, upgrade, it's going to give you um, Somerset anyway, so it's no big deal. And there's also a quest you got to do to unlock the jewelry crafting writ. Again, if you subscribe to my channel, I did a full tutorial for beginners. It's in Somerset. Okay, there is an NPC you got to talk to. Okay, I'll uh, so what I do, I do a anti clockwise. So what I do, I'll start on the alchemy. Okay, now you can go either all materials or quests only. Sometimes I go quests only, and when you go quests only, it'll only show the materials associated with uh, what you need to make for the quest. Okay, so essence of ravage, ravage health. Okay, so nightshade, known root. Okay, real quick. Okay, and if you see on the top right hand, deliver the goods to the nearest root quartermaster. Okay. Okay, so the next one. So this is the jewelry. You don't have to do it in this order. This is just how I do it to speed run it. Create, okay, looking here at the necklace. So look at the top right there, jewelry crafting room. You need to make two pewter necklaces. Okay, that's awesome. So what I want to do now with the change, especially if you just come back to the game, there's been a lot of changes. So what you can do now, you can hold um, square if you're on console, and then you can make two straight away. So you don't have to keep spamming square, which was a nightmare. And wears out the buttons on your controller okay so that's that one done two done okay then i go to the enchanting next i want to create if you press r3 it's quest only which makes it a lot quicker so you don't have to go through all those uh, materials okay and if you look at the top right guys um enchanting deliver it to the quartermaster done okay now we're going to go to uh, provisioning, which is over here. Okay. Garlic corn chowder. All the way down. OK, 
go. Let's look at the drinks, see if I can make that. There it is, Markov Mead. So anything with a, like a arrow next to it, that's a quest item you can make. Okay, when I tab across back to the food, I need to make... Okay, no, that's all right. Okay, so that item, I already had it in my inventory, so I didn't have to make it again. So that's why it's saying take it to the nearest quartermaster. So before... Um, okay, so if you're... If, okay, mark off me. That was the only thing I didn't have in my inventory team. So that's why I had to craft it. So anything you've crafted on this character and it's sitting in the inventory, because that's what I do, I just leave it there. I don't um, sell it or delete. Um, you don't have to craft it again. Okay, so that's it for provisioning. So we're going to go back over. So I'm going to start on clothing now. Okay, create. Okay, we'll go Dark Elf style because I've got plenty of that. Okay, so anything with an arrow, so shoes, hat, and sash, okay? And if you look on the right-hand side, uh, deliver the goods to the trade. Okay, so the next one will be blacksmithing, which is just here. Want to create. Okay, so with blacksmithing team, it'll always be two armor pieces and one weapon piece, okay? And that's only with blacksmithing, okay? And that's the gauntlets. Then we tab across the weapons, and we're looking for the one that's got the arrow, which is the greatsword. And if you look on the far right-hand side, deliver the goods to the nearest quartermaster. Done. Last one should be woodworking. So if you see why I do it this way, it's just super quick. Okay, so Inferno, Ice Staff, and Lightning. That's easy. So one... One eye staff and one lightning staff. That's it. And if you look on the top right, there it is. Deliver the goods to the nearest quartermaster. That's it. Done. All you do from here, team, jump on your mount. So we finished off where we started. And then we want to make our way to the quartermaster on the far side. So you want to go past this way shrine. See these two wagons here. Okay, and then we're going to pass the third wagon straight through here. All right, hop off your mount, and there it is here. This is where you hand them in. So you're woodworking. Okay, so there's a bit of lag at the moment on this server. Surprise, surprise. Okay, and you just want to hand them all in. See that? And the last one is your alchemist, okay? Okay, so we want to get away from here, team. And I'm just going to go away from all these other people. Okay, so that's it. That's how you do your woodworking writs. So what it is, with this event, it's any repeatable quest. So it could be a random normal daily. It could be um, the world bosses. So anything that's repeatable. So what do you want to do now? Is you want to press options on the console. Go to your inventory. Go all the way up to your supplies. Go all the way up. Okay, so your alchemy. Um, okay, these are gift boxes. Okay. Look at that. I'm getting all these motifs and that. That's awesome. Okay. Okay, and obviously you can trade all these motifs and, and the materials. You can sell it. And obviously, the more characters you have, and if you've got the patience like me to get through it uninterrupted, you can do it yourself. Okay, so I'm just going through real slow. Okay, so we got. Okay, so that should be it. Now, these are the style pages you can learn. You can sell them to your friends, you can trade them with other people. Again, the more characters you have, the better. Okay. Okay, I don't know that style. So when it's when it's green, it says use to add to your library. Okay, and then if you can't learn it, it just means you've got to have enough skills put into... So what's this one? This is legs. Okay, so if it won't let you do it, what it means... You've got to have the points in here. Okay, so for woodworking, um, clothing, 
blacksmithing. So until you can grind out, especially if you're a new player. So don't be disheartened by that. All you do, I'll take you to the banker. You just go put them all in the banker, okay? Don't don't sell them or destroy them or anything like that. Because if you want to get into crafting, then this is one of the best ways to do it. And the reason why I picked this location is because the banker is just up here. And you can just make your way there. Here we are. Casper Counting House. Go in here. You can talk to the banker. And then once you get enough skill points and grind out the game, then you can put it in there. Okay, so you go to the bank. And there you have it. You can deposit it if you can't learn it. Okay. Okay. So my name's Mstar from Mstar Gaming. If you're new to ESO and you want to get into crafting and you want to try and get a bit of XP, uh, don't forget to eat your cake before you do the crafting roots to give you the inspiration boost. And hopefully you found the tutorial helpful. And please hit the like and subscribe to help support the channel. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you and goodbye everyone.